This is a follow-up video to one that I've created previously about quadratic sequences. In the previous video, I just used some algebra um, to work out what the formula was for a particular quadratic sequence. And in this particular video, it shows you where that algebra came from. But, as you can see from the title here, um, just below it, pause, try and check. This is part of a new series where it is down to you to pause at certain points, to give it a go yourself, and then continue with the video just to check that what you've done is what is it is as expected. Okay, here we have the general form of a quadratic sequence. It should really say u subscript m equals that, but just keeping it simple for the time being, I'm just writing it as this. Okay, so we need to generate the first three terms for this sequence. So that is when n equals 1, when n equals 2, and then when n equals 3. So, just substitute in n equals 1, write out what it is, have a go at the others as well. Pause the video now and then press play once you're ready to check your answers. Okay, so hopefully for the first term you had a plus b plus c. When n equals 2, then you got 4a plus 2b plus c. And then when n equals 3, you had 9a plus 3b plus c. Now you may want to rewrite those across the page okay and then what you need to do now is to work out the difference between each term so from the first term to the second term what needs to be added on so pause the video have a go at working out the first difference there from the first to the second then from the second to the third and then press play once you're ready to check. Okay, so the first then, you have the 3a plus b. So to get from the first term to the second term, you have to add on 3a and add on a b. And then for the next one, so from the second to the third term, adding on 5a and adding on b. Now, working out the difference between those two, you quite clearly see that the only difference is that you're going to have to add on 2a. So, when working out the quadratic sequence, so the nth term of the quadratic sequence, we're just going to be using this, these first ones here. So, we're using a plus b plus c. Now, we've got three unknowns there. In the first difference, then, we have the 3a plus b, but that's two unknowns. So by looking at the second difference, we just have one unknown. And so we're going to have a look at that uh, with an example next. Here we have a sequence, and let's just check what type of sequence it is by looking at the differences. So from 4 to 12 we're having to add on 8, from 12 to 26 adding on 14, and from 26 to 46 adding on 20. Now at any point here, uh, if you want to have a go yourself, then just pause it and then you can have a go yourself and come back and press play just to check what you've done. OK, now here we can see that the first differences are not equal. So let's have a look at the second difference. So from 8 to 14, adding on 6. 14 to 20, adding on 6. Now we have a common difference now. So that's the second difference is 6. Now from the previous page, the algebra, then we had three unknowns for the first term two unknowns for our first di difference, and then one unknown for the second difference. So 
So let's start with the one unknown. 2a is equal to 6, so a must equal 3. Now for the next, we have that 3a plus b, now that equals 8. We already know that a equals 3, so we've got 9 plus b equals 8. So b must have to take 1 off the 9, so b must equal negative 1. And finally, we have that the a plus b plus c equals 4. We already know what a is, we already know what b is, so we have 3 minus 1 plus c equals 4. And so therefore, C must equal 2. So we've got that A is 3, B is minus 1, and C is 2. So putting that into the general form, so that was the A n squared plus B n plus C. We have 3 n squared minus n plus 2. And of course you can check that by substituting in values of n. So for the first term, n equals 1, you have 3 minus 1, which is 2, plus 2 is 4. And you can check it for the other terms just to make sure that it works. Okay, so here are some questions for you to have a go at. Make sure that you're working out the differences each time and using the algebra to help work out what the general term is for each of these sequences. So just press pause now and then press play once you're done, which will go to the answer page to check your answers. Okay, here are the answers then, so just check your work. If there are any issues, just make sure, did you check with some values of n to make sure that you had the right thing? Did you add up incorrectly? Were there any problems with the negatives? Any problems with decimals at all? If you do need any further help, then just ask in the comments. Hope you found this video useful. Please write any comments or share the video around. Uh, there's a QR code there for anyone with a mobile device who wants to save a link to the channel. And it was created with the Explain Everything app for iPad.